The list data type is one of the built-in data types in the skill language, and a list is just a collection of other skill data type objects. The tick operator can be used to create a skill list, so numbers equals tick one, two, three will create a list of three items and store that list of three items in the variable numbers. To return the list stored in the variable numbers, we just enter numbers in the skill interpreter and the list of three integers is returned. Notice that if we use the type function and pass it the variable numbers, the type function indicates that the variable numbers is a list. Notice that if we make a long list of eight items, the skill interpreter displays the items on two lines when it returns the value of the item. By default, the skill interpreter displays five items of a list on a line, and this is controlled with the variable underscore items per line. If we set the variable item underscore items per line to 10, then when the value of the list is returned, it will include up to 10 items of the list per line. The list function can also be used to create a new list, and is often the more common choice for new users. The difference between the list function and the tick operator is that the list function will evaluate variables or symbols before including them in the list, while the tick operator will not evaluate the variable or symbol, it will just return the symbol. For example, if we set three variables, a, b, and c, to the integer values of 1, 2, and 3, then use the list function to create a list and store it in the variable myList, we see that the variable myList is a list of three integers. On the other hand, if we use the tick operator to build the list, we notice that the list is not a list of three integers. It is a list of three symbols, the names of the variables that were added to the list. You can append items to an existing list using the append function. Notice that all the arguments to the append function must be lists themselves. So if we make the list four, five, six, and store it in the variable list2. We can append the second list to our first list using the append function, and now we have a list of six items. The cons function is used to add a single object to the beginning of a list. The first argument is the item to be added to the list, and the second argument is the list that the item will be added to. It is important to remember that the new item, the first argument, is added to the beginning of the list, the second argument. Lists can be hierarchical, and exactly one new item is always added to the existing list. Notice if that if we create a list of three items and store it in the variable list3, and then use this list as the first argument to the cons function, the first item of the list returned is the list of three items, and the new list contains one item more than it did before. The length function will return the number of items in a list, and it is important to notice that the length of the list returned by the append function will always be the length of the sum of the lists sent to the append function. The length of the list returned by the cons function will always be one greater than the length of the list passed to the second argument of the cons function. The nth function can be used to return an item from a list. The function is zero-based, so the zero item of a list is the first item of the list, and the one item of the list is the second item of the list, and so on. A list of zero items is represented as nil, and is the only false value in the skill language. In summary, the tick operator, or the list function, can be used to create a new list, and the list function is used more commonly because it will evaluate the value of the variables that are passed to it, rather than the tick operator, which will include the name of the symbol, rather than its value. The append function will append two lists together, and the cons function will add one item to the beginning of a list. The length function will return the number of items in a list, and the value nil represents an empty list that has a length of zero.